Hello, dear Odoors. In this video, we will talk about some basic concepts, namely models, views, and fields, so we can better understand how Studio works. We will also discover the app together. So let's get into it. First, let's talk about models. Models define the data that the app or module should contain. They represent different business concepts, such as sales orders, contacts, products, and so on. Let's access the product template model, for example. I can click right here on my sales application and access my products. This model includes all the products in our database, and each product is a record in this model. Each model contains a series of fields, which are used to store data. For example, if I click on this product right here, the field product name contains, well, you guessed it, the name of this particular product. While the field can be sold, contains a value used to determine whether the product can be sold. Now, as you can see, these two fields don't look the same. One is a text field, and the other one is a checkbox. That is because in Odoo, there are different types of fields. But we'll talk more about fields in the next video. There's lots to say. And what about views? Oh yes, views. Views define how the data of a model should be displayed, and are mostly made up of XML, a markup language just like HTML. One model can have several views, which are simply different ways to show the same data. So, for example, in Odoo we have our beloved Kanban view. It can also be the form view, list view, calendar view. So here, for the product, product template model, this is the form view. But if I go back to see all my products, I'm still in the product template model, but this is the Kanban view. I can select another one using the icons here on the right. For example, the list view. There are also other concepts involved in models, such as access rights and filter rules, but we won't go into that for now. So before we discover Studio, let's summarize what we've learned so far. In your database, you have different models, which contain the list of fields used to store the data, as well as the access rights, filter rules, and the views that the model renders. Okay now, let's open Studio. So we're still in the product template model, and I'm going to click on the Studio icon right here. We're currently still in the list view, which means I can customize this view if I need to. You can also switch to another view from here using the same view icons on the right, or by clicking Views. Let's select the form view. So as you can see, you can go to the model in view you, you want to change and then open Studio from there, just like we did, or you can change views directly from Studio. What if I want to switch models? Of course, let me show you how you can do that. So if I want to switch to the sales order model, I can select via the menus here, orders, quotations, and here I am. Or, if the model is not available in the current app, say project for example, I can just go back to the home menu and select another app from here. When you're done with your changes, just click close. That's it for this video. Make sure to check out our online documentation if you'd like to know more about models, views, and fields. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Back to you in the studio.